Hi, this is Lynn with Via Marketing, and today we'll talk about how to create a content marketing strategy in seven steps from start to finish to grow your business and to grow your firm. Did you know that 59% of businesses don't have a documented content marketing strategy? However, 69% of the most successful marketers have a content marketing strategy that works, according to Content Marketing Institute and Marketing and Profs. Without a strategy, you won't know whether you've been successful or not. 64% of respondents say that building a scalable content strategy is key to their educational needs. We'll walk through seven simple steps today to developing a content marketing plan that will grow your AEC technical services business without wasting time or money. So the first step is to set your mission and goals. Start out by setting out on a content marketing mission statement. This will focus your efforts and keep you on track for creating the right content at the right time in your client writing process. A content marketing mission statement has the following, your target audience, the content you'll use to reach them and the benefit to your target audience. So for example, we have the Society of Marketing Professional Services uh, example. In the graphic. It defines the audience, AEC firms, it highlights the benefits, networking, educational opportunities, and industry research. And it gives examples of what it con its content covers, which is creating business opportunities. To create a mission statement, here's a formula. We provide target audience with a type of content to help them with their business goals. So, in developing your firm's mission statement, here are some goals that we've seen um, in the mission statement. It's to improve revenue. It's to make more sales and contracts to meet revenue goals. It's to improve the branding and perception of your business so you can be seen as a thought leader and gain influence and authority. Another example is SEO success, which is ranking on page one of Google reduced ad and marketing costs as your content becomes more effective and gains domain authority so you can stop having so much money on Google ads because your SEO is working and then better social media engagement. Step two is to establish your KPIs. So you wanna make your goals actionable and measurable. So you wanna set key performance indicators for your content marketing strategy. This is different from your goals. They let you know what you've achieved by providing key milestones. You can have goals cover different parts of your digital marketing effort, as well as business goals that we've seen in the mission statement. So having specific numbers helps you hit a revenue goal within the year. You can get more email signups for your white paper or case study as a sign of improving your inbound leads. You can see an increase in site traffic and time on page. You can improve your ranking on certain keywords that are being tracked. And you can get a client from your pillar pages content. You can see a decreased cost of acquiring leads. And then you'd also want to track your marketing spend per month. You can learn more about marketing ROI in our blog here. And that's linked um, in the blog article. Step three is to know your audience. So you need to be clear about who your audience is so you can create the right content to reach them. First step in this is to collect demographic data. You can find them in social media analysis web analytics and email subscriber analytics. You can, go, you can get age, gender, education, income level. Um, on Google Analytics, you can go to audience, then interest, then overview, and then see what part of your audience is interested in what. The next part is market research. You wanna collect feedback from your current and future clients. This will it give you insights into their current challenges, their most urgent needs, and 
how you can address their challenges with your content and where they hang out in terms of social media and news sites and social media. So you're pushing out your content to the right places. From collecting demographic data and market research, you can then create buyer personas. So you can flesh out these buyer personas. These buyer personas describe your ideal readers and clients so you can target your content properly. These buyer personas include client challenges, sources of information, and behavioral motivators. HubSpot has a great buyer persona template and examples. So here are some questions you should ask. When you're, when you're compiling your buyer persona. So what is the biggest problems and challenges in your job? What would happen if your client didn't invest in your service? How do they get information? Is it via blogs, books, or white papers? What conferences do they attend? How do they convince their boss to make a buying decision? What social media and media do they consume, such as YouTube videos, podcasts, or LinkedIn? What is the size of their company in terms of revenue and your employees? And how is your job measured? These questions can give you good insights into creating a good buyer persona. Step four is if you have existing content, do a content audit. So not, it's not just blogs. Many firms already have content on the web. That includes blogs, social media, content, podcasts, videos, etc. So you can see the graphic below for all the content types. So you can carry out a full content audit. You can log all pieces of content such as blog posts, guest posts, so on, and then assess for success in terms of the KPIs you identified earlier and identify the gaps. You can do a content audit with a tool like moz.com. You can see how your content is performing. You can look for stats such as the number of inbound links, search engine ranking for keywords, and where you are on search engine result pages, and social shares for content. You can look for content gaps, which include re keywords related to your buyer personas challenges you're not targeting with your content yet. Questions your target audience is asking, but you haven't seen any answers or the answers could be improved upon. Step five is to figure out the best content channels. So you need to look at where your audience is hanging out and where you have a successful online presence. Focus on what's working and expand on there. In HubSpot, you can go to reports, traffic analysis, then click on social media to see where your website traffic is coming from. You can also use BuzzSumo to find similar data. You can see charts with shares by network, content type, content length, and top content. Step six is to determine your content types that you'll use in your content marketing strategy. So here are some of the most popular content types marketers are creating today. So if a blog post, you're currently reading a blog post. Blog posts live on your firm's website and should be published regularly to attract new and continuing visitors. Posts should provide valuable content that makes your audience share on social media. And generally, posts should be between 1,000 to 2,000 words for greatest SEO value, but you can also experiment and see what works for your firm. Another form is ebooks. Ebooks are lead generation tools that potential clients download after submitting a lead form with their contact information. They're longer than a blog post and might be a compilation of key blog posts. So how it works is there's a call to action form on a blog post that can direct potential clients to a landing page. Potential clients submit their information to download an ebook to learn the most valuable information for their firm. In turn, the business producing the ebook has a new lead for sales or business development. And the sales or business development team can contact that lead. Next is case studies. Case studies showcase recent projects. 
it gives you the opportunity to tell a story of a client who succeeded in solving a problem by working with you. It can be in the form of a blog post, video, ebook, podcast, or an infographic. The case studies show that you can do the work and do it well. It helps to have a video testimonial with your client. Next is infographics. Infographics organize and visualize data in a more compelling way than words alone. They are great content formats for sharing a lot of data at one time. Next are videos. Videos are highly shareable across social media and websites. They are highly engaging and 40% or sorry, 40 times more likely to get shared on social media. Video is also the most preferred form of content according to HubSpot research. You can do simple videos like what I'm doing now, or you can hire a videographer and shoot some videos. I recommend start simple with your iPhone or webcam and then progress up the ladder as you see more engagement with your videos. Next are podcasts. So starting a podcast will help potential clients find your brand if they're not interested in reading content every day. 32% of US adults had listened to a podcast within the last month in 2019. So doing interviews is a particularly popular form of podcasting. Finally, so lastly, is social media. Distribute your content on social media to gain more reach to potential clients. Social media networks are important that are important to the AEC industry is Facebook, LinkedIn, Instagram, Twitter, and YouTube. Next, the final step in managing your content is to publish and manage your content. You can read our content calendar post on how you organize your content throughout the year. We can help you do that as well. We can also create a monthly social media content calendar for you. Many of the ideas you think of will be evergreen. They'll be just as relevant today as they are months from now, but don't ignore the timely topics either, which can help generate spikes of traffic. Remember, it takes time to build a content marketing strategy. Keep track of your KPIs and see where you need to change course if necessary to, to keep in line with your KPIs and keep in line with your mission statement. Thanks and have a great day.